Hi guys, uh, in this video, uh, I'm gonna be teaching you how to integrate the Blink application with the Tasker. This video is specially for the Blink community as they told me to explain them how to integrate the Blink application with the Tasker. Uh, first of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Somil Nitin Shah. I'm from India. I'm pursuing my bachelor's in electronic engineering. And in this video, we would be learning how to integrate the Blink app with the Tasker. We would be creating events such as whenever you shake your phone, no matter wherever you are, the, your appliances at your house will be turned on. And whenever you enter your house, I mean the within 30 meters of radius, your appliance would be turned on automatically. So how to integrate all the system? So we would be learning that. So without wasting much of time, let's get started. So the first of all, what you have to do is go to the Play Store. Make sure you have to download three applications. That is the number one is the Blink application. Number two, Tasker. And the number three is the REST API. So you have to type REST. I'm sorry. So yeah, there you go. So this app application that is the REST task for the task. That's a plugin basically. Uh, this application is used to send HTTP request to receive request. So this is a plugin for the tasker. Make sure you download it. It's a very important thing. There is a REST task for the tasker. All right. After you're done with this, you have to open the Blink application. Uh, uh, guys, I'm not going to be covering the basic how to integrate the Blink application that is already there on the community website. So you can learn that, uh, learn that I'm directly going to teach you how to integrate with the tasker. That's it. So first of all, make sure you, you select the right board over here and copy the token number in the notepad. That's very important. So after you are done with this, uh, what you have to do is go to the tasker application. So here you can see I have made some predefined profiles as you can see house. So whenever I enter, I mean within the 30 meter of radius, the appliance is turned on automatically. I don't need to turn my, uh, I don't need to open any applications or stuff like that. Nothing. Shake. If I'm, if I am, uh, let's say I'm, uh, I am at my friend's place. If I shake my phone there, appliances at my house will be turned on or let's say alarm would be turned on. So that's pretty cool, right? So let's learn how to integrate that. So first of all, you have to create a task basically how to do that. So on the bottoms right hand side, you can see the plus icon. So just type a name for that. Let's say it's a test one, whatever may be the name. After you're done with that, you have to go. Then after you're done with that, make sure uh, you have to go to the plugin section. Oh, I'm sorry. So after doing that, uh, you have to tap on the plus icon right here and select the plugin option. Here you can see the rest A rest ASK. So make sure you select that. That is the most important thing. Now I would be teaching you how to configure that API. So first of all, right here, the request type should be put. So that's very important. After that, you have to load the certificate. That is a Blink certificate, uh, which is usually in the format dot name dot CRD. Uh, that the certificate would be, you can find in the Blink uh, community website. So let's do that. Download. Here you can see the CERTI.CRT. Let me load it. Certificate loaded uh, successfully. So I've, I'm done with that part. Now make sure you enable the custom body. Make sure you do that. Now what is a custom body zero? That means I want to turn appliance off. So you send a zero, one for on. It's that simple, right? Then you go to the header section. Uh, the con the name should be the content type the value should be application slash json so make sure you do that and after that the host part that's the most important thing right so that should be the blink server that is the http colon double slash blink slash cloud dot com slash the token slash update and slash the pin number so that's very important make sure you do that and that's it you're done with that and now le let me test whether it's working or not. So how to do that. So you can see the plus I, uh, I mean the icon on the right hand side on the top right hand side. Whenever I tap the button, the appliance at my house is turned on. So and you can see a message written code 200. That means it is successfully triggered on. So that's it. Now let's uh, make some cool projects with it. Right. So how to do that? How to do that? So uh, I would be going to the profile section. Then 
what I am doing here is I'm going to the event section, the sensor and the shake. So whenever I shake my phone from left to right, I want the plans to be uh, turned on. So you can see the whole LED is turned on. So whenever I shake my phone, the tasker would communicate with the rest task API. It would communicate with the Blink server and the appliance would be turned on. This is how the protocol is developed. So yeah, that's it. Uh, I hope you like my videos, my project, my ideas. If you learn something from this tutorial, make sure you share with the community so that even maximum number of people can learn how to integrate the Blink application with Tasker. They can open the garage doors when they when they uh, when they step in into the house and much and so and I mean the possibilities are endless. And that's it. Thank you very much, guys. And I would see you next time.